Welcome everyone to my latest Bandai Tamashii Nations SH Figure Arts review as I'm pleased to present the latest Dragon Ball Z release with Yamcha titled as the Earth's Foremost Fighter. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time they're releasing Yamcha with the shorter hairstyle, part of the Android slash Cell Saga they have been releasing in the last two or three years. But either way, for me personally, this is highly anticipated. This is the first Yamcha in my collection as it completes the main nine Z fighters. So looking at the packaging, nothing really new if you're used to collecting the SHF line. Really well presented once again, really clean look. And here's a shot on the side as well as the other side and then the bottom and top. And then this is the look on the back with the figure in different poses. So we have the instruction manual on the side. And here is a look at the Yamcha figure with the accessories inside this packaging. So here is the first look at Yamcha taken out of the packaging and I guess no real surprises when it comes to the presentation of these characters. Once again it looks like a character jumps straight from the anime and I guess I say this a lot of the times with the SHF releases but in particular for Dragon Ball to Machinations is number one line and you can never fault them when it comes to the presentation of the characters. Of course we can make judgments on the accessories or some of the joints, the articulation, but in terms of the look they have nailed it once again. And for me personally, as I said, this is the first Yamcha in my collection, so even more pleasing and it pretty much completes the 9C fighters I have. Those of you who have the previous Yamcha can make some comparisons and it's your decision to see which one is better. But yeah, this is always the Yamcha look I've kind of preferred. So quick comparison, of course I will do like a full one later on, but just to give you an idea of some of the characters next to it. So I've been collecting Dragon Ball SHF maybe in the last three years or so, so not too long in comparison to a lot of people, but these are all the releases I have. So all the latest Piccolos and Chalces are in the collection. And then here is Krillin. And then of course, TN as well. Both of these, the latest releases based on the Android Saga. And let's take a closer look at the head sculpts. They've got all the detail. There's plenty of interchangeable ones, which I will switch up as the video goes on. But you can see really nice. I do like how they've painted kind of the legs a bit different. It's a darker shading compared to the top just a bit more realistic look to it. And you can see that they're just improving on their figures year by year. So highly anticipated for those who are looking for a Yamcha. That's the first look. And then we can now take a look at the accessories and then we'll move on to the articulation. So let's start off with the hand accessories. So the one right out of the packaging, we have the closed fists. So for the first set of alternative hands, we have the clinch fingers for the fighting stance. And then we also get a set of grapple hands for another fighting pose. And we also get a set of open palms, which is common in their Dragon Ball releases for the blaster pose. And next up, we're gonna take a look at the alternative head sculpt looks. So this is the standard one right out of the packaging, which is a good look. And then we also have these alternative face plates. So it's not a full head swap. So what you do, you just punch out the front part. So let's start off with the fully angry look with the mouth open, which can be used for the fighting stances. And then we also have the second alternative piece, which is the gritted teeth, which is an angry look, or for this particular case, it's like a concerned look, which we're gonna pair up with some of the other extra accessories. And the third alternative faceplate is one with the hand on the mouth, which is the Android 20 figure, which can be posed with this, which is taken from the scene in the anime when he meets the androids and it just shuts him out with the left hand. So you just punch out the Android 20 left hand and then you can just basically punch it into the faceplate and you can get that look, which is taken from the anime scene, which is a really cool pose for a display. And then we also have 
this other accessory, which I'm going to pair up with the gritted T float. So basically they've included these two pieces for the body of Yamcha. So it's taken from the scene when he punches right through the body, uh, which is a very violent scene. And you basically get this transparent piece and just wrap it around Yamcha's body. So the second piece goes on to the back. So the other alternative way they could have done this is have a removable piece for Yamcha, but I guess this is probably the most convenient way to do it. And there you have the look of the hand punch through the body. So on the Android figure, we are going to do it with the right hand. So at first I thought it was just the hand, but you actually have to remove the whole arm. And I guess if you measure it out, that is the length of his arm, which is a even cooler look than the mouth version. And this again, if you get it in the right pose, you can get it exactly like how you see in the anime. So yeah, I do like this. Uh, it's a very clever way to do this kind of style, which is something I haven't seen too often in the past. So yeah, this is a very clever accessory. So now let's take a look at the articulation. So the movement of Yamcha, starting off with the head sculpt, it can turn left and right, no problem, round and round, very smooth. And it can also tilt side to side. And then there's also movement on the neck and you can push it downwards this much and upwards quite a lot. And then for the arms, they stretch side to side, no problem. But the only gripe I have about this figure is, you can see for the shoulder pads, it does kind of create a gap. And I guess that's the only way they could do things for a better movement. I've seen this on a Goku figure before, but in terms of movement, it's actually very smooth. There's good rotation on the arms. And then we have a full arm bend rotation on the hands, a hinge as well. And of course, moving it forwards, backwards and upwards, no problem. So the only real problem I have is the gap in it creates. And then for the body, the upper torso, you can see there's a small rotation and not so much. And then side to side, forward crunch, and then backwards. And then for the waist, there's better movement here with a full rotation and then slightly to the side, uh, forward crunch, uh, not so much, and then backwards this much. And then you can see on the belt, there's rotation. On the legs, I've seen worse. No, this one's definitely not loose, it's very stiff, which is a good thing. And there's good rotation. Uh, kicking forwards, which is quite important for Yamcha. It's good movement there. And then backwards, of course, there is a full knee bend really far back. And then there's rotation on the foot and there's a toe hinge as well, and then side to side movement. So articulation, you gotta play around with it. It's pretty smooth, pretty solid. I guess the only thing I say is these shoulder pads, which I guess they couldn't have done it any other way. If they had it into one piece, I guess the arms would have been very limited. So now for the size comparison, starting off with the SH Figuras Android 20 once again, as well as Piccolo. Here it is next to the SE Figuras Tien and Chiaotzu. And here it is standing next to the SE Figuras Vegeta and Trunks. And here it is standing next to the SE Figuras Krillin and Gohan. And here it is standing next to some SE Figuras Gokus. And here it is, all of the Dragon Ball Z 9 fighters paired up together for the dream lineup, just like the iconic opening soundtrack. Albeit Vegeta is Super Saiyan and Trunks has his jacket on, but this is the closest we can get. And now this is a dream come true, as you can have this completed in the SH Figure Arts collection. So now for my final thoughts on the latest Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts release with the Earth's foremost fighter, Yamcha. It is what we expect by now with another excellent sculpt. The proportions and paintwork is there, fitting this right into the Android saga of releases. And this is another release that looks like it's jumped straight from the anime with the multiple hand accessories as well as the faceplates. 
and making some very exclusive cutscenes from the anime which takes these displays to another level. The articulation is fine as I mentioned, the only nitpick is the gap in the shoulders and no additional effects parts which they could have done with one or two. So overall for the price it was a standard release so this is another great addition to the lineup as this is the first Yamcha from the Cell Saga. So I'm going to give this a high score of 8 out of 10, it is a must for all Dragon Ball collectors. And if you like this review, subscribe for more including the latest SH Figure Arts news and collections and thanks for watching.